Now, Bach, you mentioned that he was not a lutenist himself, but mm -hmm. he's such a great composer. Many people have made transcriptions, and I'm, I'm going to ask you questions about transcription later. But mm -hmm. um, Bach and the lute, what's the history? He, you know, you just mentioned that he he knew a very famous lutenist. Um, yes. And uh, did he write for the lute? Or I think I asked somebody that question before, but uh, ha, yeah, just the history of Bach and the lute. Yes. Um, <laughs> again, I can't give you absolute concrete uh, uh, proof, but um, it seems that he never did actually really play the lute. Um, when he was in Leipzig, there were three or four lute players around and he met Weiss. Um, and in the early... Well, late 19th century, when they were getting the Bach Gesellschaft edition together, um, somebody had to decide to group, oh, these are Bach's lute works. And they have quite a complicated history, um, but it developed that then those musicologists thought that we have four suites and a few individual pieces, whereas um, two of the suites were Bach's own rearrangements for the lute of things he'd already written. And the other group of pieces were what seemed to be for the lute harpsichord, which was a gut-strung keyboard instrument um, meant to sound like a lute, but you could play it as a keyboard. Um, and um, I don't have the right lute to hand, but when you play a plucked instrument, you know where the chord shapes are, you know, what works, what's normal. So when we play music by vice, it's, it all, it's all coming from what's naturally possible on the instrument. But Bach didn't quite know that. Um, so some of his chord positions are a little bit awkward. Mm. One, of the, one of the beautiful pieces, which is uh, BWV 996, uh, that was, is really a keyboard instrument for the lute harpsichord, um, you can't even play it in the normal tuning. You have to use a different tuning. Oh, wow. And uh, the E major partita, -dum -bum -bum -bum, which the, was the final piece of the six pieces for solo violin, um, there's almost no other piece in E major for the lute because there are no open strings. Um, so, so again, you either have to transpose it or find a different tuning.